If you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm building a new workbench and it's very close to being done. There's a traditional woodworking bench in kind of a Scandinavian style. And the distinguishing feature with that style is the shoulder vise that's built in and also the wagon vise that we have on the end here that works with a row of dog holes down the length of the bench. And that allows you to clamp the stock down to the workbench and do a number of operations with it, including planing and scraping. And what actually contacts the stock and holds it in place at the ends are what's known as bench dogs. And I have one right here. And in this video, I'm gonna quickly go over how I made these to work with my workbench. The first step is to cut the blanks for the dogs to the right size. And I'm using red oak, which is the same wood that I use for the rest of the workbench, other than the walnut, that's the darker color. The wood that I'm using is actually from the wood that I used to make the dog holes in the workbench in the first place. And you don't want the dogs to be a tight fit in the hole. It has to just drop in. So I'm just going to remove a very small amount from one side of each plank on the table saw. And then for these to fit properly in my workbench, they need to be cut in kind of an L shape with this recess here. And I'm going to be doing that on a table saw using my mini table saw sled. I've set the stop on the sled and I'm just going to nibble the material away to the right depth. Looking at the one that I have in my hand right now, you can see that it has a cutout that has a, another piece of wood in here that's actually acting as a spring that sticks out the side. And this simple wooden spring will make it so that you can position the bench dog to different heights and it will stay there rather than just falling fully into the hole. And that first pass did the whole recess all the way up to where I wanted to stop. But it also needs another pass to create an angled section near the bottom where I can glue that spring on so that it's angled upwards. And you can do that by hand with a sharp chisel, but I'm gonna do it on the router table by lifting up the other end with the small block, just taped in position and slide it across to cut that small ramp. And because I wanted my bench dogs to be color coordinated to match my bench, I made the springs from walnut. Uh, the only problem with walnut is not as hard as say oak or ash or maple. Maple would be my first choice for a spring. So I had to cut it a little bit thicker than I normally would. And as a result, I had to make this recess deeper and recut that angled part as well so that it clears when you push it in like this. And then to fasten it in place, you just use regular wood glue and a spring clamp will hold it until the glue dries. I would leave it for several hours though before putting it in a hole, make sure that the glue has reached maximum strength. So even though the workbench is still not completely finished, I have the bench dogs done and ready to use. If you're interested in watching detailed videos on me building this workbench as they happen, I've got another two left to make. 
You can do that on Patreon or on Locals, where you'll get access to this build series, plus the plans when they're done, and also the other build series that came before this. I think there are six more that I did over the past year, along with other plans as well. And like I said, you can get that either on Locals or Patreon. There's a link in the description that'll take you to both of those. Thank you.